Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse our raucous entrance, but I will have your undivided attention. So my character is John Gilbert, and he's a bush ranger. Um, he was known as Happy Jack um, because he was always happy, and he was slightly a bit of a psychopath, um, you could say. Uh, he was a bit of a womanizer. He loved fun, and he had a bit of taste for the theatrics. I remember when Matt first told me about it. Um, I was like, okay, this is very different to anything I've ever done before, and also the character is very different. Um, to me. I mean, if you ask anyone about me, generally they'll say I'm a quiet person and that I'll sit in the farthest corner and that's where I'll be if you ever need me. Um, so it was really hard to kind of come out of that or to kind of tap into that part of myself to help draw out the kind of big actions and the big kind of personality. I read a little bit about the shadow theory from Carl Jung. As people, we often have the ego self, which is the self that we portray to everyone, and that we also have the shadow self, which is the part of ourselves that society deems unworthy or wrong to have, so we hide them away. And the way I look at it is that Gilbert's just like anyone else. The only difference is that he has no filter, and that his shadow self just comes through. In this film, He's very much the trickster uh, archetype. He fits all six characteristics of a trickster. You know, he's ambiguous. He's a bit of a fringe dweller. He doesn't live in any society. He's not fully accepted. Um, he's a situation inventor. He goes in and challenges his values of a society and likes to flip them on his head. Um, and he's also a character who is very prominent in the chain effect of things. So he comes into the story, and then because of him being introduced, there's all these other factors that happen afterwards to the demise of the gang. So with skills for the role, I had to, God, I had to learn to horse ride. That was number one. That was the biggest thing I had to do. And that was really, really, really hard. Um, because I remember the first time I was ever on a horse, I was 10. And I think it was not even a horse, it was a pony. We were able to get like a week of extensive training. And that really, really helped with like confidence and how to be around horses and how to manage horses and how to interact with them. Um, also, I had a bit of gun training in the sense of I had to learn to twirl guns on my fingers because that was something that Matt really wanted. He's like, you know, I want him to be really flashy. So Matt gave me a gun um, to practice with one of the replicas and I had to, you know, 10 times on this finger, 10 times on that finger, then backwards, then backwards. And I did that for like three weeks, a month of just doing that every day. So hopefully it paid off. There's been challenges with the weather and the location because because we're filming almost everything outdoors. You know, you're at the mercy of God. He'll just go, okay, I'm just gonna pour rain or I'm gonna, you know, give us, you know, 50K winds or, or, or you know, burning sun and you sit there for half an hour in the sun as they fix up the camera and everything. But that's just part and parcel of what we do. So you just do it. Thank you.